guys, welcome back. Today I am doing a redstone video on a cow breeder and cooker. Now, it's very efficient because you won't lose any baby cows because of one added extra feature, which is that one right there. It's fairly small, it's got a bit of redstone at the back. Um, so, yeah, so I'm, before I'm going to show you this in action with the cows, I'm just going to show you what each thing does. So, first of all, you have the um, usual. What's it called? The breeding thing with the water, which makes the cows go up and down, which makes it easy to breed. You can just press it again. Then you have this, which um, makes it a bit more efficient because it will just push all the baby cows out that way. And then you have the cooker, which, you know, is just normal. And the rest in at the back is what makes it do that. Okay, so I'm just going to add some cows and we'll see this thing in action. Alright, so I've added a perfect 25 cows. And you may have noticed that the thing has changed a bit. I've added these blocks here. Um, so basically, you can either have them in front or behind. I'll show you that in the tutorial, but let's um, show you this. So you press this button first of all, which will make them jump up and down. So I'm going to climb up the ladder. You want to make sure you have slabs at the top like I do so they don't get out so you just need to hold down right click that's what I'm doing now and let's just breathe that much that's good um, you don't need to collect the XP at the top you'll see why now so now you just need to press that button uh, press the pusher and um, you may not have seen that but the pusher actually pushed the XP down so I've added this here where you can just walk up and you'll get all the XP and now oh whoops <laughs> So now, all you have to do is wait for the cows to grow up. So when they've grown up, you can press this button right here, which will cook them. So as you can see, there's nothing in the chests. And now you press this. They will burn all their drops. Oops, I accidentally collected some. Let's just put them in there, I guess. And then they'll fall down onto the hopper and go into here. So that was about 13 or 12 cows. So basically you'll get half the population of what you have here down to there. So now that I've shown you um, the demonstration, we can crack on with the tutorial. Alright, so the total footprint of this is a 5x5. Five five. So what you want to first of, first of all start off with is just a shape like this with a quartz slab in the middle. Then you want to place a dispenser up like that and a dispenser there. and then. Your buttons will go on these blocks here and those blocks there. Alright, now what you want to do is just place a piston here. Uh, put glass block there. And then quartz here. And here. And then go up one layer and then just place quartz like this. And slabs on top of each of those blocks. Alright, now what you want to do is just place buttons here. One there. And put a repeater right there. Alright, now we're going to move on to the redstone. So what you just want to do here is just place glass like this. And also there. Then you want to come back here behind your button. Place a block here. Place a block up. Put a repeater there. And a redstone uh, piece of redstone dust there. Put a redstone torch here. Uh, go up just under it and do that. Put a, a piece of resin dust there. Then put two blocks like this, a resin repeater here on two ticks, and here one here on one tick. And then just put a resin torch there. So now what that should do is activate your dropper, uh, your dispenser there once. Oh, uh, twice. There we go, you heard a click. No, actually you probably didn't, so let's do that. And you'll see... There we go. And now what you can do is also put your water in here. And that's this part done. Alright then, we're almost done here. All you want to do now is place your chests here. Um, di dig two blocks down like this. Um, place your hoppers like that. Then what you want to do is um, go inside and place a sign here. Click done. And that is your whole thing done. You can decorate it how you want. Basically what I did was just put two blocks there. I got item frames, put them on. So as you can see now, if we press this button, we'll get our water. Press this button, we'll have our pusher. And we press this button, we'll have our cooker. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like. And also subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one.